Hi, I'm Sharon Burns, owner and operator at Arx Catering in the DC metro area. And we're here to cook with Sharon. You know, many of you guys have been asking and uh, providing feedback on all the vegetarian and vegan options that we've been, that I've been showing and demonstrating. Well, you know what? I have one more for you today. We're actually going to make a butternut squash lasagna roll. Yes, a butternut squash lasagna roll. So this is not quite vegan, although we probably could convert it to a vegan option um, by using some different ingredients. Uh, and then also we could convert it maybe over to a gluten-free. I know some people have been asking about gluten-free. Well, we'll gradually and slowly introduce some other options. But today, this is going to be something simple. And then also, once we prepare it, you'll see at the end, it's something that we can actually prepare and freeze. So for that mom on the go that needs to have something ready for their family when she gets home or off work, this is something that you can pull out of the freezer, put it right back in the oven, bam, within 15 minutes, you have a meal. So let's get started. So what we're going to do is take um, a little bit of olive oil. And of course, I have pre-minced um, some shallots. So I did about a quarter of a cup of shallots. Um, we're going to saute that along with, as you all know, I love what garlic. So of course we're going to put some garlic cloves in and this is about, I don't know, three, three or four. You know me, I always do extra because why we cook with love here at Arts Catering uh, and I love garlic. So we're going to add a little bit more. So we're going to take that and we're going to saute it a little bit. Now, one thing, one step that I actually did ahead of time, and this is something that's very simple. You see here is the butternut squash. Well, what I did was I actually um, cubed it. I took about a pound and a half of, uh, I cut this up and then I boiled it with a little bit of sea salt. And then once it was soft enough, I actually put it in my food processor, as you've seen many other times, and I blended it to like a puree type of um, consistency, as you see here. So this is going to be good too, you guys. Um, you know that a lot of you like organic and fresh type options. This could be baby food. I mean, I never thought of that until right now, but yes, you can make homemade baby food at home, and it's so simple. So um, we're going to take, um, like I said, this right here, we're sauteing it till it's um, nice and fragrant. And we're going to, what I did, I reserved part of the water that I, bo I um, boiled my butternut squash in and I saved it um, off to the side. So you wanna make sure that once you boil your squash that you are reserved, you save a little bit, like a cup, a cup and a half um, of the, the same liquid that you actually boiled the squash in off to the side. So this is coming together quite nicely. And that is actually because we're going to make our sauce. So this should be on like a medium, medium heat. And then we're going to take our butternut squash and mix it in or saute it in, I guess, as you will. So I took the butternut squash and in the food processor, I actually added in probably about a quarter quarter of a cup of, um, of the liquid. And so it was that nice puree type texture, as you see here. So we're going to put this in. And it should be kind of thick. You guys know what a puree is. It's the consistency is just a little thicker. Um, and that's all good. You see right here, we want to get everything out of here. If you grew up in my grandma's house, she always said, you have to get every little piece out of the container. That's money. I tell my staff here, that's money. We can't leave money just sitting here. So we got everything out and then we're going to keep it sauteing just a little bit. And I have grated Parmesan here off to the side. You're going to have probably about, mm, about a cup and a quarter a cup, one and one fourth cup of grated Parmesan cheese. So we're just gonna take a little bit of this Parmesan as well. Let's loosen this up. So remember this part right here is going to be our sauce, the sauce part for the, the rolls, the lasagna rolls. So we don't want it too thick. So you have to think about um, like a regular marinara sauce that you would use for lasagna. We don't need it 
so, um, we don't need it soupy saucy, but we definitely don't need it thick either. So we're gonna add in some of that leftover liquid that we had, and we're gonna thin it out. So it looks like we need just a little bit more to make it like a nice texture. And then of course, we're going to add in, uh, add in salt, pepper to your tasting. You just wanna make it good. So we're gonna add in just a little bit of salt. No, that's about, I don't know, I don't know how much it is. It's about an uh, eighth of a teaspoon. And then I put in um, fresh ground black pepper. And then we're going to add in just a little bit more of the liquid, the water. And again, this is all over a low simmer. And we are going to add in probably about a tablespoon or so of um, grated Parmesan. You, you guys know cheese always makes it good. So you can put in a little bit extra. And this is a pretty good texture, I would say. Um, you may want to add in just a little bit more of the liquid. Again, that's about, we started off with about a cup of the water or the base, the liquid base from our boiling of the of the butternut squash. So you see right here, this is pretty good as far as like the consistency of a sauce. So we are going to set this to the side and work on our filling for the actual lasagna. Okay, so once that's done, again, this should take like, I don't know, less than 10 minutes or so. And it needs a little, I'm gonna add in just a little bit more garlic. This is granulated garlic. And then just a little bit more pepper. All right. So I think we are good with this. Turn this off and we'll set this to the side. All right, so now we're gonna work on our um, spinach mixture. So just get a regular bowl, and then I have right here, um, it's about 10 ounces of, this is chopped, dried um, spinach that I've actually um, defrosted. It was frozen. I'm gonna add this, and um, add that. And then I have um, ricotta cheese right here. This is about 15 ounces, so you can pick this up in the grocery store. Um, very Any brand is fine. But I actually got the low-fat version. You know, in some capacity, I tried to incorporate some healthy options. And some of these things that we add in, like the different cheeses and this ricotta cheese, for example, uh, if you do the low-fat version, that's, that's fine. I mean, you're still going to get the flavor because we're going to add in um, like our, our seasonings over here. So we're going to do salt and pepper as well. And then we're also going to put in the rest of this um, grated Parmesan. And let's see, we're gonna save that to the end to top it. And then we have one egg. You can just take, I usually use liquid eggs. You can use that as well. So the equivalent of um, liquid egg, you can utilize. Today we're going to use just a regular um, whole egg and we will add that to our mixture right here. And I probably, I'm not a big fan of um, sampling or tasting as I'm cooking when there's raw egg in there. Um, I should have probably tried this before I put it in, but it's all good. Um, I just want to make sure that you have the correct flavor. So before you put that egg in, you can actually make sure that it's flavorful. So I know we're probably going to need a little bit more garlic. I'm going to add in and then um, salt, little salt and black pepper. And I think we should be good to go. So we have everything nicely mixed in here. So this is only taking, what about, 
don't know, 10, 15 minutes, very quick and easy. I'm all about providing options for you all that are easy. And of course, if you don't want to do it at home, what? Reach out to us and we got you covered because we love to cook with love. <laughs> so we have our mixture right here. And then what you're going to do is take a, I've already pre-boiled, obviously, these uh, lasagna noodles, but this particular recipe is for about nine servings. So nine of the lasagna noodles, I actually made more just in case we make a mistake. Um, we don't want to run out. So you take all your, and when, make sure when, after you boil the noodles, you wanna make sure that you toss them in some type of oil so they're not all sticking together. I of course have selected to use um, olive oil because that's a healthier option for you. So um, that's what we're using today. So you wanna take like a, a nine inch uh, cooking dish. I'm gonna take this and I'm going to take my butternut squash sauce that we made earlier and I'm going to cover the bottom of the pan. You can use any type of pan that you have. We're just going to cover this and put that off to the side. We're going to save this rest of it for finishing off. All right, so we have our mixture here. And I'm going to put on gloves um, just because it makes it easier for me and it's less messy for cleanup. Um, so we're going to stuff these lasagna uh, noodles that we have here. We're just going to take, stuff it, and roll it. So I'm going to make kind of like an assembly line. Just This is what we do here anyways for efficiency. You can take your time at home. Um, but this is how we, we're able to mass produce in an efficient manner. So we're not just sitting here one by one. I'm going to lay all these out and we're going to stuff and roll. So let's see, we have enough space for six. Well, I'll put out seven for right now. Okay, we're gonna take our, um, our stuffing right here and we'll just fill it. Pretty simple. Actually, you could probably do this with if you want something fun to do with your kids, your children, you can stuff, have them stuff it. it. May take a little bit longer, but hey, shows them how to make things efficiently and good. And at home, and it's family time. I actually, looks like I probably made a little bit extra of the stuffing. You know, I have a problem with that sometimes making, I don't know how to make small amounts, but I'm sure my friends and Lindsay won't mind eating <laughs> some of the leftover. And again, I told you that this is something that you can actually prepare and freeze. So that may be a good thing. I may want to freeze some for my own self and eat it in a couple days. All right, so let's get to rolling and we'll finish these off afterwards. And I'll just show you, you wanna set your ovens to 400 and get everything, your oven ready. We're just going to roll just like this. Bam, so you have your roll, your lobster, I mean your, um, <laughs> thinking of seafood, your, um, lasagna roll, and you want to put this seam side, you want to put it down. So we're just rolling. Seam side down. Roll. I actually probably may have um, should have grabbed a larger um, container, but we're gonna make this work. No problem. And one other thing that you could do with the spinach if you have time ahead of time, and if you want some additional flavor in it, is to, uh, you can saute it with 
red pepper, um, some onions. But you know we made our butternut squash um, sauce before, so it has a lot of flavor already with the shallots and also the um, fresh garlic cloves. So you know I'm all about flavor, making sure that everything is well seasoned. So this is actually a complete meal, um, you know, for our vegetarians. If you wanted to add something else to this, we could do a salad on the side. But we have our pasta, we have our spinach right here. We're just going to add, I'm going to add one more just so it looks uniform. And like I said, this, um, this recipe is for portions of nine. And as you see, we almost have nine. I could have probably stretched it out a little bit, but um, we don't want to force and make it look um, not neat in the pan. So everything is good to go once we get this rolled. And we're going to add, you um, see right here, we have some mozzarella. We're going to take the mozzarella and we're going to top it. Um, so right here, we're going to finish it off, and we have our sauce. Before we put our mozzarella on, we're going to take the rest of our sauce. I'm just going to loosen it up just a little bit more, and we're going to finish it with the sauce on top and then the mozzarella. So this is coming together quite nicely. And you all know what butternut squash, there's so many, so many um, nutritional value or the benefits of it. Full of antioxidants. Um, it has vitamin A, I think, and vitamin K. Um, so you're getting a healthy, balanced meal right here. And it's probably something that you probably wouldn't have thought of in any other time. I know I go in the store and I see this uh, along with some other squash in the aisle and I'm like, mm, what do I want to do with that? There's plenty you can do with it. Plenty. And you're getting good, like I said, nutritional benefits. So we're going to top this off with mozzarella and you should have your ovens on 400. We're going to just take a little bit on each piece and then we're going to cover it with foil. Now you can add in a little bit of extra cheese if you'd like. Um, you know I love cheese, so I'm going to put a little bit extra. You're going to take foil once you get this all done. Take the foil and seal it. And then we're going to put it in the oven for about, I guess, 20 minutes until everything is, because you see right here, everything is already pretty much cooked. We want to be able to melt the cheese and heat everything through the actual lasagna roll. So we want to make sure that it's in there long enough. And we will be back to show the finished product. Like I said, 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. Okay, we pulled out our butternut squash lasagna out of the oven and we're going to plate up. So we want to try and make this look as pretty as possible. And we want to, oh yeah, I think this is going to be good. So as you see, look at that. I mean, that looks amazing. Um, we are going to, I think we'll just do the one, no. We'll just plate it up like it's for a family, family of two. <laughs> so we have our nice pieces of lasagna. And I actually saved some of the sauce that we have right here from earlier. So I'm just going to take it and just put it on the bottom of our little plate here. And if you have some garnish, like some greenery garnish, sorry, I don't have any, um, you could add that to your plate. So here it is, our butternut squash lasagna. If you're interested in having RX Catering prepare it for you, don't hesitate to reach us at rxcateringdc.co. 
As always, we appreciate you joining us.